Today we'll look at the easiest and cheapest way to save money on your energy bills, installing blown-in insulation. It's a DIY friendly project that anyone can do, and in this video I'll walk you through it step by step. Get ready to save some money. My friends Rob and Amy bought this mid-century house here in Central Florida, and just like most mid-century houses, it uh, was not outfitted with much insulation. Really, the attic was pretty bare of any insulation whatsoever, and that made for pretty high energy bills and hot summers. There were a few remnants of old fiberglass, but we decided to go with green fiber cellulose insulation. I really like this stuff. It's mostly recycled, and it tells you on the back how many inches you need to do to attain what R value, so I swung by Home Depot and we picked up 50 bags of the stuff. While Rob and I unload the truck, I wanted to tell you about another product that can help you save on your energy bills. Indo Windows is a sponsor of this video, and I'm a big believer in their products. I have them in my own house. Their laser-measured window inserts help seal drafty windows and are super easy to install. One of the things I like best about these is that it allows you to keep your original windows, which you know matters to me, and you get vastly improved energy efficiency. For more info, check out the link in the description or my other video, How to Install Indo Inserts. I think you'll like them. Once we had the mountain of green fiber bags dragged into the garage, it was time to set up the blower. Now Home Depot gives you a free blower rental when you buy a certain amount of bags, which is super helpful. You gotta make sure you got enough hose, in this case we got a hundred feet of hose, but here's the simple blower. Not much to it, it's pre-assembled, turn it on, and you're ready to roll. You're gonna start putting your insulation into it and you have to break it into pieces as you put in there. It's packed pretty tightly, so it comes off in chunks that you need to break up. If you don't break them up enough, the blower will get crammed with it, so make sure you do a good job of breaking it into smaller pieces. And there is a grinder at the bottom that's helping to push this along, so do be careful with your hands if you're trying to shove them down into the blower here. It works best to have two people doing this. One person keeping the hopper full, and the other person up in the attic blowing the insulation in. As you blow your insulation in, you want to start at the back of the attic as best you can and then work your way back out so that you're not disturbing the blown in insulation. You want to have a nice fluffy bed of insulation up there. Green fiber is not toxic, but you certainly want to be wearing a dust mask while you're using this and safety glasses to keep yourself safe. There's a lot of this flying around in the air and you don't want to be breathing it in. As you're installing it, you want to be careful not to cover any soffit or gable vents. If you have a vented attic like most people do, covering these can be really detrimental. Blown-in insulation also has a tendency to settle an inch or two after it's been installed for a few weeks, so you want to add more insulation than you really want to end up with. If you want a foot, add 14 inches. In the end, you want a nice, fluffy, even bed of insulation spread throughout the attic. No high spots and no low spots. That's going to give you the best performance. Check the insulation requirements for your area and add at least what the code requires, but you can always add more. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more awesome old house content. And check out some of my other videos. I know you're going to like them.